Hey everybody, it's Ian the Off Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. I am so incredibly excited. I have a new friend that I recently started a friendship up with and I could not be happier to have Peggy Davis on my channel to today. Uh, hello, Peggy, how are you? Hi, I am great. Good, I'm so glad to hear it. I'm so glad that you are on my channel and I'm so glad to actually get the chance to talk to you face to face. And uh, <laughs> I have known you a little bit. I I'll have to back up the story a little bit because I just recently, I said recently started a friendship with you because I met you through the app Whatnot. You have become a seller on Whatnot. And I have to thank Sobeka for getting me onto Whatnot in the first place. <laughs> But I'm so glad that she did because we have become friends and I love that. So I'm going to stop talking for a moment and let you tell your story of who you are, where you're located, and uh, a little bit about your store. Okay. Well, you said my name, Peggy Davis, um, and I own a small brick and mortar quilt shop in Langdon, North Dakota, 15 miles from the Canadian border, Gosh. like way up in that northeastern almost corner of north dakota so you know right right there clear. right <laughs> stone's throw from the canadian border pretty much pretty much and um it's a small town about 1500 people i opened a brick and mortar quilt shop um soft opening end of february 2013 so it's been a while we, yeah we moved here in 2012 okay soft you opening 2013 Northern Iowa. Um, have you ever heard of where the music died? Yes, I have. Uh, we lived about 40 minutes from there. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So every time we move, we move a little further um, west and north. Does that mean you're going to end up in Canada next? No, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old to move anymore. But yeah, yeah. we, we um, yeah. <laughs> How did you get started wanting to open up a quilt store? Oh boy. It is a slightly convoluted tale. So I'm going to kind of like pare it down just a titch. Um, my, it starts with my son, believe it or not. He doesn't quilt. No, <laughs> he was a hockey player <clears throat> in Northern Iowa. And he always came to UND University of North Dakota's hockey camp. Uh, my husband would drive him here and would stay the week while he was at camp and like tour around. And he liked the area and he kept saying we should move to North Dakota. And I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> and then one year he called and he's like, we should really move to North Dakota. Wolf would like to move here and play and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, sure. What the heck? <laughs> wow. Just, just like that. Well, kind of <laughs> I mean eh I was at a point in my career where I was just like eh didn't had a job didn't you know you know the kind of jobs you're not like tied to like you're not invested in I had friends at work I miss all those friends I keep in touch with a lot of them but I was just at a point in my life and I'm like oh what the hey you know yep <laughs> absolutely I can understand that and we got here. I'm a nurse. Um, our little tiny local hospital doesn't deliver babies, and that's my specialty. That I tried sense. working in the nursing home. No go. No boy. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Love the love the residents. Don't get me wrong. Oh, oh my God. Some of those people. Oh, they were oh, it was so cute and so fun until you get to the paperwork and all that part of it. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not happy. And I don't know, my husband had one time jokingly said, you should open a quilt shop. You know, there used to be one in town. <laughs> there used to be several in town. There is a long history of quilt shops in this town, actually. Interesting. So how I'm many, like, how many shops shop. are there right now? Quilt shops in town? Yeah. Just, just yours, right? Just mine. The oh, nearest, wow. the next nearest is an hour. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 At one time there were three at, at like at a given at one, I don't know how to say that. At one point in time, there were three yeah. at one time. Okay. One did long arming and the other two sold fabrics. But um, 
yeah, there was a building going up for sale. The local pharmacy was moving. They had their building for sale. I'm like, I went and visited the local quilt guild and they're like, oh yeah, we need a quilt shop. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey, retirement plan. Yeah, no, that's not, it is not a retirement plan, Jacina. <laughs> I'll, I'll just warn you now. Good there is know. no retiring here. <laughs> so we've, we've talked a little bit about how you got started. I forgot to mention the name of the store, so oh, on and so on. So, <laughs> so how did, it, it's such an unusual name. So I've heard several stores and if you type into Google, like so on and so forth, that comes up a lot. So how did you get so on and so north? Okay, Facebook. So I put a post up. I said, hey, friends, you know, one of those kind of things. I'm thinking of buying a quilt shop. And I had several names in mind. I wish I would have, like, I wish I, I should have scrolled back through my Facebook memories. I don't know. Does it go back that far? <laughs> and found where my initial list of names you know, because I can't remember. One was just something dumb like Peggy's Quilt Shop. <laughs> I mean, that's boring. <laughs> and then I thought of the so on and so forth, except so, you know, spelled S-E-W, like the internet. You could find that all over. And there was something else in there. And for the life of me, can't remember what it was. No, no clue. So I put it out there on Facebook. And one of my good friends, actually, her son, um, played defense with my son played they played hockey together so you know I, I have a picture of the two of them in my house you know the boys but she messaged back she says well what about so on and so north because you moved so far north like kind of like that tongue-in-cheek and I'm like hey <laughs> you're on to something <laughs> that's it <laughs> so that's how it was decided <laughs> that's amazing that is so funny yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a suggestion of a friend. Sometimes those and, are the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's kind of true. I am so north. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's the funny thing is like, I never would have had the chance to meet you if if you hadn't been on the app. And like, yeah. it's amazing. Technology has really brought so many people together, yes. especially during COVID and all that kind of stuff. But like, it's really <laughs> brought a lot of people together because I would not be shopping at a quilt shop in North Dakota. That would not be a thing that I do from down here in right. Texas. Right, right. Because, because let's face it, if you were looking for something in my store and you Googled it, you were like, okay, um, Tula Pink, blah, blah, blah. I am betting I'm not even on the third page of Google searches. <laughs> yeah. I don't I, really know. And it's also like how, I don't know how Google decides who gets what placement, but yeah, you're right. There's a lot of small shops that I never would have found if it weren't for technology. And I, I just ordered some fabric from a place in, uh, where was that? Mississippi recently. And I never, yeah, like never would have known about them, but Google they happened to, uh, I Google, I don't even remember what I Googled, but I Googled something and that shop popped up and they were having a sale on Tula because, you know, Peggy knows very well. About <laughs> Tula Peak fabric. Yes, but we we share I, that. <laughs> yep. I never would have known about, about that small mm -hmm. little, little quilt shop if I hadn't found it on Google. So it's, it's amazing how thankfully connected we are now with technology, but Yes. Uh, it's a bit crazy sometimes as well. Sometimes it's 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 a bit overwhelming, but you know, I mean, even with relying on people to walk in or my website, because my point of sale system came with a, you know, a built-in website and all that, but to get people to find you, you know, and we were just ramping up <laughs> and COVID hit. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yep. And thankfully to Facebook lives and, and connecting with people that way, you know, and when I got that phone call from Carly, I can't remember her last name, uh, whatnot, apparently she Instagram messaged me and I, I vaguely remember this. I looked back and found it and I'm like, oh yeah, she did, <laughs> you know, Funny. and then she calls the shop one day and I was. I was on, actually on my cell phone talking to somebody. She calls the shop and she's like, 
she talked to my daughter. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking to Peggy and, you know, she's this new selling at whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, and my daughter gave me the message. I'm like, what are they talking about? They must be crazy. I haven't been talking to anybody. Well, yeah, one message or, you know, like one or two back and forth, not right. Much. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, absolutely. And I found so Becca because of, how did I find her? Oh, because I was trying to watch as many people who sold fabrics videos as I could <laughs> in my few minutes of spare time here and there. Sure. Three minutes here, 10 minutes there. <laughs> yep. And I found a show of hers. So, yeah. Yep. It's, it's such a wonderful thing the way that uh, yeah. what is it kismet or how just the universe aligns in different ways to just, bring us people know. people that we that are going to start friendships with and everything so um so you've had your store it, i i gotta ask though your town does it lean more traditional quilting or are there some <laughs> modern quilters in there as well oh the town itself, most of my ladies probably fall right in the middle of that somewhere. I, I We have a few super traditional. We have a few who are getting over to that modern. And I have a few that I'm getting out of their box and moving them from here to there. Good. Um, Thanks to Tula Pink, actually. <laughs> I'm serious. Um, Huge fan of Tula Pink. Yeah. Um, and I'm also a huge fan of Julie Herman of Jaybird Quilts. Because when I opened my shop, I found her Hex and More Ruler, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you're familiar with her very much or not. Yep. But then she kind of like fell off the face of the earth for a while. And I'm like, great. I just start liking somebody and now I can't get their stuff. That's how my luck is, right? Yeah, totally. I, I And I exactly then she about. kind of, Popped out of the woodwork with Nebula. <laughs> and, you know, I talked to my rep and I'm like, okay, Emily, I'm like, I need to order this Nebula kit. And she's like, well, you have to buy this many of them. I'm like, oh crap, I'm never going to sell that many. <laughs> I'm being perfectly honest here with you guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm just like, I'm a tiny little shop. Who is going to buy that from me? So I'm like, okay, I'll commit to the, it was in tens, I believe we had to buy. I'm like, I'll commit to 10. Next thing you know, I called her up. I'm like, if I need more, how many, do I have to still buy in 10s or what? Because I sold the first 10. Wow. Wow. Okay. She's like, well, yeah, yeah you got to keep buying in 10s. I'm like, okay, well, sign me up for 10 more. I'm probably going to, I'm, I'm going to be in so much trouble. I'm going to have sold 10 and be left with 10. The second 10 sold out in three days. Oh my gosh. Right? Wow. I know. So That's I amazing. ended up selling 30. Well, I kept one for myself. Fair. So I ended up having 29 people doing Nebula. And a lot of these were my traditional ladies. Now there's one who did Nebula and is back to doing her hand applique. I don't know what colors to call them. Vintage colors. Sure. You know, beautiful, gorgeous quilts. Not my style, you know. So I, she made Nebula. She really did. Wow. But is she a convert? No. But some of the other ladies are like, you know, I kind of like some of this stuff. All right. That's awesome. So I'm 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 rolling them over. Also, when I first opened, I thought I'm the only quilt shop in town. Wow. I'm the only place for an hour. Wow. Maybe I need to have a little bit of everything. Yeah, no, that is not working for me. I'm getting rid of some of the stuff that I don't like. <laughs> like once it's gone, no more, no more civil war, no more thirties. Really? I don't like them. <laughs> well, um, yeah, that makes sense. But I, I'm surprised. Does that, does that and not they don't, very well? They're not selling that well right now. Wow. That's weird, very interesting. Right? I I am doing much better with the free spirit lineup of designers. How interesting. I know. 
I'm an analytics person. I love analytics and like diving into the the numbers and what's mm -hmm. what and the trends and all that kind of stuff. So that that really is very interesting to me, and especially because mm -hmm. I went to the North Texas Quilt Festival recently, and oh yeah, the judge who judged it, she liked tiny piecing or oh. Civil War reproduction fabric. If it was one of those or both. <laughs> it tended it tended to have a ribbon on it so it kind of surprises me that that civil war and and some of the vintage prints aren't aren't selling as well yeah it just i don't know i've seen beautiful work done with some of them yeah absolutely it's not work i would have ever done sure absolutely everybody has what they like what you they know, are um, not a fan of it's makes perfect sense and i didn't know what i liked i mean I would love to say that like my great, great grandma taught me to quilt sitting at her knee and all that stuff. You know, I learned to sew from my mom. I think I made doll clothes or something. I don't even know. Not much. You know, there wasn't much there. Um, I've done about every craft you can name. So, you know. <laughs> I think we've all and, gone through periods of. of yeah, trying and craft. I just, I like to sew. I used to like to sew garments. My daughter had a lot of, and I don't know, you might be too young to know this one, or you might not be into garment sewing. Um, Daisy Kingdom dresses for little girls. Oh my gosh, they were like the frou-frou, the skirts that like poofed out to there and, you know, the big velvet collars. Because <laughs> my daughter, how old is my daughter? What year is this? She's 32. <laughs> So, you know, <laughs> and I love sewing that stuff. Don't ask me to do it now. <laughs> I've been trying to get into garment. I have a couple of t-shirts, uh, like button up shirts like I'm wearing right now. I have a couple of button up shirts that I want to use. Of course, well, that's I a cute one. I like it. <laughs> I, it's, it's, I like the style. It's good. I just got to figure out because quilting, sewing a quilt is much different than sewing mm -hmm. a three-dimensional object. <laughs> It is way different. And reading the instructions is different. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about that one. Usually, I, I wish I still had it, but I think I did actually pitch it. My very first, do you remember the twister ruler when it was a thing? I don't know that I do. It, you sewed five inch squares together and then you took this ruler and you put it on the seam lines and you cut them and you sewed them back together. And I made this wall hanging tabletop or whatever you want to call it. Sure. Oh my God, you should see the binding on that. Oh my God, so bad. And, you know, everybody thinks because I own a shop, I'm some kind of like expert. <laughs> maybe I, I taught maybe myself no. most of this. So, so did you sew a lot before you opened the store? Um, in spells. You know how you get into sewing and you sew a, two or three or four items and then you're out of it again for a while, yeah. like a lot of yeah. crafts. That's kind of how I was. I had a really nice sewing machine. My husband bought it for me when my daughter was little. And I mean, I sewed her clothes. I, yeah, I didn't sew my son very many clothes. I'm not good at boys clothes. I'm way better at dresses. Um, and I mean, I made a few baby quilts, you know, where you just sew six inch squares together. Mm -hmm. And then you quilt X's through them. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. I think that's Maybe like one that. of the first quilts that anybody makes whenever they get into the quilting journey is doing the six inch squares and then just X done. Yep. 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 But I've taught myself a lot. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> so in your store do you offer classes and stuff or is it is it mostly just uh do, do, I guess do you have people come through or what what do you typically do around your store <laughs> well <laughs> we do have some classes um occasionally right now it's on a lull because we had summer and mm -hmm. this town kind of rolls up its streets in the summer because you know everybody's everybody's um at the i don't know lake whatever it is camping you have to, you know, you have like to take advantage of those, sorry you have to take advantage of those warm temperatures while you have them right because they're short-lived yes <laughs> 80 some degrees yesterday 68 today Whew. 
I like 68 better. That's something that you and I joke about all the time because, you know, <laughs> being here in Texas, I'm I'm still at 100 degrees and you're up there going, oh, it's 75 today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we've had classes. I mean, I have done kids classes. We have um, coming up. Um, I'm not sure if you're much of a Moda fan. I mean, I do have my Moda people, so I do buy from Moda. I love Ruby Star Society. Yes. But um. Moda has National Sew a Jelly Roll Day. Who knew it's a holiday? <laughs> so we have like a girls sewing night for that. Um, I do sell machines, so I offer a few things with that. Honestly, we've got a lot of people who don't like to drag their machine out. I, I can understand that. I have the- It's an effort. It is, it is, especially because I have the Bernina 770. And that's, I mean, I love to use it, but it's heavy. It is heavy to right? take. So I totally get those people. Man, goodness gracious. Well, yeah. when you're not in the store, when you're not sewing, do you have any other hobbies that you like to do? Oh, I like to pretend that I'm a reader, but that comes and goes. <laughs> Okay, and you want to know the embarrassing, guilty one? Of, of course I do. I play Pokemon. Do you? Yeah. Do you have a Nintendo <laughs> Switch? Or is it on the phone? <laughs> on my phone. Gotcha. I don't know. When it came out, my kids were playing it. They were making such a big deal out of it. And they were wanting to go on walks and play Pokemon. So I'm like, oh, what the heck? I'll just download it. <laughs> so every now and again, and that's one of those things that you you do it for a little while and then you then you kind of forget about it and then you yeah. do it again you know um i'd like to say you know i go over and hang out with my i do go visit my daughter and her dogs i mean i have a dog but she has dogs too <laughs> um my son just moved back to town so and you like to you like to frequent the dairy queen that your husband works at. well yeah because <laughs> it's dairy queen i mean i frequented it before well, I've got my Diet Coke here, but I frequented it before we owned it. <laughs> that is a sad thing. Um, my house is two blocks from it. Do you know how hard that was when we moved up here? Like every time you drive by, it's like, oh, I need something. <laughs> and I need the a car, blizzard. it just went. <laughs> the car just automatically drove to it every time. Automatically went to Dairy Queen. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, <clears throat> for a while we traveled to watch my son play hockey. I mean, that was every weekend evenings. I mean, you know, a kid in sports is kind of, you know, like a full-time commitment. Yep. After yep. high school, he played junior hockey in Montana. So we were going there. Not often, not near as often, because that's yeah. way too, I do not do well in a car for 14 hours. <laughs> well, it was more like 11, but whatever. <laughs> It felt like 14. <laughs> it felt like 110. <laughs> I am, I want to get on a plane, buckle up, get a Diet Coke and maybe some pretzels or whatever it is they serve these days. Relax, read a book, listen to some music, something and get there. Yeah. I don't want to be like, oh my God, you mean we have to stop and get gas again? Oh, well, it's probably a good thing because I need the bathroom. <laughs> Yep. But it's just not my thing. But I did do something here recently. My daughter and I both became Modern Quilt Guild members. Congratulations. So I think That's we're awesome. going to order our tickets. Good. Excellent. I, so does that mean I'm going to see you in, in February? Probably. We'll, yes. we'll go with probably. Okay. We'll go with probably. And I think we're going to try to get my best friend from back in Ohio that's where I'm originally from to meet us there, even though she knows nothing about sewing and quilting. She likes the Carolinas and the South kind of any place warm, you know? Yes. So yeah. make it a girl's trip. That would be fun. That's awesome. And I'm excited that I'll hopefully crossing my fingers. <laughs> I, I know. In person. There is another lady. There is another quilt shop owner here that I'm friends with that goes every year. Oh, okay. Um, Mary Beth from Mary's Quilt Market. Oh, I haven't met her yet, but I'm excited. Well, I mean, hopefully. she's probably there. Like you guys are probably both, you know, 
consumers? Is that, I, I don't know what word I want. Cause she's yeah. not there like advertising or teaching anything or doing sure. anything. But I watched a video with so Becca where she said the first time she went to, went to quilt con, she thought maybe she wishes she wouldn't have signed up for every single lecture there is and all that stuff. Cause she felt overwhelmed. So I thought, you know, maybe the first year, let's just go check it out. Yeah. Some of the lectures look interesting. I think most of them are already sold out, but. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a, that's something that I learned the first time that I went is I, I had signed up so late that I didn't get the chance to sign up for anything, mm -hmm. lectures or classes. And it's a lot, it's a lot to take mm -hmm. in. And poor Becca last year, she didn't realize that there was the way that they had it laid out. There was like three floors and she didn't even realize that the main quilts were up on the third floor. So she didn't see half the show, unfortunately. So That's I'm hoping bad. this year that she'll be able to see everything. And it really is overwhelming. It really, like your brain just like starts melting after a period of time. <laughs> So yeah, I think that's a good way. I think it's a good way to just see everything and like get the lay of the land before you mm -hmm. start jumping into doing doing some uh, deeper dives, if you will. But that'll be fun. That's exciting that you're there that you might be yep. going. It's on the radar. <laughs> that's a long ways off, though. It's it, well, it feels like it's a long way off, but I, I know. know that the year is just gonna finish out oh, super yeah. fast. Yep. And you'll be buried in how many inches of snow at that point? I don't know. <laughs> Goodness gracious! I'll keep you posted. Yeah, you do that, and then and then the 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 revolt the roles will be reversed, and I'll be like, "Oh, it's eighty here today." And you'll be like, "Thanks, it's a negative five here today." <laughs> <laughs> and by February, that will start bothering me. Yes, I yes. can deal with it for a little bit. You know, it's like okay, it's winter. I know it's winter. I live in North Dakota. Duh. Yeah. Yeah. After a while, though, it's like it's still winter. <laughs> We're still doing this. That's, That's how why I feel we about need summer. quilts. Say it again. That's why we need quilts. Yes. Because we're cold. Yep. Yeah, that's the downside. I can't really use quilts during the summer here. So that's, <laughs> right? that's the unfortunate part. I have one. I always have one on my bed, always. But in summer, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, right. In wintertime, I can pile them on, but summer, not so much. Well, Peggy, I thank you so much for coming onto my channel today and having this chat with me. Oh, I know, really this was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was. I am so glad that you got the opportunity to be here with me. And that sounded very, uh, that sounded very high and mighty. I meant I'm glad <laughs> to have you on my channel. <laughs> I, hey, I appreciate the offer, <laughs> the the invitation, whatever you call it. Absolutely. Where can people find you online? Um, so on so north.com is my website. Because did you know you cannot use an ampersand sign in a domain name? I did not realize that off the top of my head, but it makes sense. Yeah, well, I learned that. <laughs> so it's just so on, so north, all run together. I do have my own app now through oh. comments. Mm -hmm. Very available good. Available in Whatever those play stores are called, I get them confused. <laughs> Apple has its own, Android has its own, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and then on whatnot still, I got to schedule some shows though. I'm. Literally... Yeah, that's, that's where know. I found you. And that's where I tend to yep. stop you the most. <laughs> <through> the <laughs> whatnot app. <laughs> it's a very fun platform. It is. It is really it's, funny. Um, I like Comet Sold. It it does have its advantages. My very first Facebook live show that I did for a virtual shop hop with some other North Dakota and South Dakota shops. Oh my God, it took me three days to figure out who got what. Oh no. Based on comments. Oh. Because you know how first person to comment. Oh my God, it was such a mess. And everybody's like, oh, but I don't want to pay him part of my blah, blah, blah profit. But I'm like, no, my time's worth something. It is. And, it's worth something. And yeah, now they've got a different deal with the app. So I'm like, okay, let's go for it. And I don't have a whole lot in there yet, but getting there. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Well, I hope people will go check out your website, so on and so north, or excuse mm -hmm. me, so on, so north, no and, so on, <laughs> so north.com. Go check her out. Peggy is amazing. I love getting to chat with Peggy. I call her up sometimes at the store just to bug her. <laughs>
But Don't they, worry, my my rep knows what's on my next Alexander Henry order. We've already talked. Yep, yep, we have talked about that. And I'm excited <laughs> for that print. I am not going to lie. I'm excited for that print. Can't wait for it to come in. I I tell you, you know, Al, Alexander Henry, Tulip Pink, Kaif, all these people. I've heard, I had heard all the names in the past, Ian. And then as I started being able to get their fabric and learn more about them, it's just snowballed into yeah. a thing I, i'm really I like <laughs> i'm glad i don't own a store because i would have all the things and then i would like want to keep them and not sell them <laughs> sometimes there is a little bit of a little catch in the old heart there yeah like oh they took the end of that bolt <laughs> yeah oh, and i didn't take any home <laughs> Yeah, there would definitely be times that I would be like, oh, you want two yards? No, you want one yard. You want one yard of this. Because <laughs> I need that last yard. Yeah, yeah. I need mm -hmm. that last I, yard. Totally, totally, totally get you. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Peggy, for being here. And I hope everybody yes, checks no, you thank out. You. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait to tell people to visit your YouTube channel. I hope you do. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope everybody has a great day. And remember, guys, normal's just a setting on the dryer. Bye, everyone. Ha, 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 ha.